Yeah, looks good. Okay. As far as I can tell, there's no delay, but cool. There shouldn't. There really shouldn't be. Have y'all yeah. seen this yet? Uh, we have not. Hey, Davies, Charlick. No, a few people on Discord have spoiled things for me, but I don't yeah. really care about that. Yeah. People have been coming. <laughs> so in. don't. So like, don't be surprised if I'm not surprised by certain announcements. But <laughs> hey, Ruby. Hey, Chippus. It's been a while, man. Yeah. Hey, pull up Twitch chat. You can go ahead and stop, but I'm pulling up Twitch chat. Um, I mean, are you ready right now? We can just go. Yeah, go for it. Okay. All right. Let us let us start. Lol, that fucking rose eye patch. I saw that and I was thinking like, oh, now we're gonna get a uh, near gestalt. Uh, oh god, cosplays. I might, I might use some of that armor. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I know you will. Yeah, I might. I don't know. I'm really liking the puffy Hello, coats. Everyone. The problem, Real I don't see any of it working with again. the puffy coat, we're but we'll see. I'll mess around with it. Iceborne's yeah, I. Uh, it reminds me update. of um. Some players may know a bit uh, about what we'll touch on. Something like girl. To oh god, everyone. The name of that. As anime. always, I'm joined by these two gentlemen. First up. Hello everyone. I'm now I know it's Yoka, probably the lighting, but have you noticed how in every dev and diary, the I'm guy on the Gina, right Gina, side, his hair starts looking grayer right, and grayer? So let's get started with another rollout of information for everyone. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah, sure. So Something girl, Utena. Off, Utena. I don't remember the name of the trailer anime right now. Check it know. out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it. Dragon Guard, there you go. Yeah, Dragon Guard 3. Ah. Uh, no, that's the name yeah, of the that, cosplay. I bet the Utena, I can't remember why. I can't remember the name of her. It wasn't Dragon Guard the predecessor to Nier, technically, but yes. like. Yes. Uh, Dragon Guard technically, 3. Technically. No, no, Nier is an offshoot of a, of a storyline in Dragon Guard. Mm, one of the many endings. Yeah. Yeah, since so they've always been doing that whole f***ing 50 endings. <laughs> <clears throat> Raging Brachios and Furious or Jang are coming to the game? I hope you like Frostcrafts. No 23rd, so tomorrow. Furious, Furious for, for, for you, it's Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta grab my PS4 for that. Yeah, PS4. We'd like to take the time now to talk about these monsters and highlight what makes them so great. What makes them so great is they're challenging. What makes them so great is they're both ass pounders. Let's start things off with Furious Rajang, shall we? Rajang. 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 When a normal Rajang, Rajang. gets angry, it's fur to Rajang. gold. Raging Rajang. But with Furious Rajang, it's fur is Yeah, I keep, that's actually what I kept messing up with. I kept calling it Raging yeah. Rajang because it was furious, alliteration, but I kept... Right. <laughs> but it's Furious. And its attacks will become much more vicious. Yep. And we've added a number of new mid-range and long-range attacks Great. to the arsenal. Great! So you're we've never safe! Great! S more and AoE! You're never monster. safe! The thing about this Rajang variant is that it has no tail. Great! <laughs> Rajang, when it enters rampage mode, its forelimbs become hard as rock. So now you gotta hit the head! So Great! Tail, but you can't do that with this one. Lol, what's with counterplay? Rajang, so that means you need head. to be in front of the raging I asshole. Yeah. as well, right? I'm guessing teammates will need to get the life powders out. Yes, make sure to help your oh, teammates out if one of them Yeah, in other, words, f in other words, in other words, you if you're playing solo. <laughs> I'm sure people really want to see it, so let's give everyone a peek. Furious Rajang oh. will come complete with so we get, so, uh, armor. So we get full covered body and mask and not an inch of skin showing for the male. What are we going to get for the women? The armor forged from a regular Rajang was oh, on. look, thigh windows and an exposed face. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, and cleavage, and a little belly button hole. Hmm. But, tu but tuna. But this time we Lots of traditional armor designs, designs do, in fact, have do in fact Rajan. have less armor in the thighs because you're less likely to Wait, get hold struck on. there. Is that literally mobility. is that literally the Lavasioth shoulder plate? I think so. With fur. <laughs> with fur. Hey, they gotta reuse some assets, all right. <laughs> on the other hand, the Palico armor is pretty cute. And oh, okay. Hold on. That's Sun Wukong. Hmm? That's, yeah, this is Wukong. Yeah, look at that cute little face. Look at that little, little tiny face. Sun Wukong. Look at him. 
Hey, With his little extended, so extended so staff. <laughs> yep. Never forget your palico. Oh, wait, wait, is that wait is that one is the, did that palico come from one of uh Raja, from one of your Shazam's hairs? <laughs> okay. Next up, we have one more monster variant to talk about today, and that's Raging Bracadios. Oh, boy. oh, so it's, it is pronounced Bracadios. Bracadios. It's much larger and slower. It's much larger and slower. Well, that's good. That's actually better, yes. As long as it doesn't do those slidey moves. So if you attack it, the <laughs> you mean the, the little like boxer hops it does? Yeah, the boxer the hops. May keep exploding. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of explosions. <laughs> explosions across a wide area. Oh, AoE. So, will have to exercise so much AoE. They really seem to want to, uh, like, games, really seem to design these the monsters for multiplayer. Yeah. I mean, like, obviously they'll be so lowable, but, but like, ever since, like, KT, a lot of the monster design hard. just seems to be very, like, inactive, multiplayer focused. Okay, so pay attention there. He's saying how if you hit the slime, it'll explode, yeah. It drops to the ground and it doesn't slime anymore, I think. Also, Raging Wait, what? Will head to a specific area I misunderstood what he said then. Once it enters this yeah, let's design, rewind a bit. Now if you attack those active parts, you attack the active parts, they become the inactive, and the slime will drop to the ground. Once it drops, uh, so you can remove the slime from his body by hitting him. So there yeah. are parts of the fight that will force you to change your approach. Also, um... Raging Bracadios will head to a specific area once certain conditions are met. Once it enters punch, 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 punch. the entire place ablaze. Punch, 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 punch. We showed a bit of this so it's almost like a it it's almost like a siege, or like a mini During siege. This phase of the fight, you can't use yeah, he has his own unique arena and everything. And you also can't use traps, nor can you escape the area. You can't leave. It really becomes a <laughs> super tense showdown between you the can't hunter e and the monster. <laughs> you can't the trap it. You can't death. leave. He makes you. He makes a little boxing arena really to cool. punch you to death in. If you faint, you'll be sent Neat. back to camp, right? Yeah. It's a one-way street, though. You can get in, but you can't get out until you faint. Oh my goodness. That's rough. Ah, so you can't even podcast as well, it seems like they're suggesting. Could we see what its armor looks like? Sure. The armor design highlights the active... Okay, okay, so here we go again. <laughs> Full head to toe. No skin showing. Although this looks like a... This looks like a, like a retexture of the beetle armor. A bit, yeah. Slime. And then, armor, it has a and then, five windows and exposed face and artificial, that, artificial <laughs> cleavage. <laughs> now that thigh window is now that thigh window is less justifiable. The previous so one you could justify it by saying that it. it gives you more mobility kind of and it's not a high priority oh, target this boy. area. <laughs> oh, cute. 1080p actually. It features the same agitator skill found in the regular Bracadia. Hopefully, it's efficient. This yes, well, oh, it's just that it had the same agitator. But this new armor also comes and weakness, with weakness exploit. exploit. Okay, so it's very skills. likely to be efficient, so possibly new metagear. There are a lot of skills that I feel mm, Gunlands players And Gunlands players, so it probably Although, has artillery and... So if you're one of those players, yeah. make sure to yeah. check it's out gonna have to be, it's, it's gonna have to be more efficient than running a fucking, uh... Okay, it's than now running, like, <laughs> buff body way. chests like and... I'm not in here with you. You're in here with me. We added one nice. brand new feature to weapon augmentations. Similar to layered armor, this layered feature weapons. will allow you to create Four. layered weapons. The shitty now weapons. you can change okay, cool. the appearance of your weapon without modifying its stats. You can customize your weapon's hmm. appearance, but this is only possible for weapons that have the same kind of makeup. Okay. We decided to roll Neat. this feature Cool, out layered parts. weapons for the shitty weapons. The update in March will let yep. you customize only certain weapons. These are the weapons that have a clear base and attachment to them. So you can swap I mean, that's out neat. both however you want. That, that is neat. That, that's neat. Later in April, that's nice. You oh, you to change the appearance of unique weapon designs. Okay. Nice. This is that's another cool. new layer to augmentation. All right. But it only works you on know what the problem is, though? Augmented. What? Can this, does this even cool. apply to Safi and, and like the we KV weapons? Made improvements to the hunter helper feature. Can know. you even do this for Last Safi update, weapons? Because if you can, then, the, then there's not really much of a point. For helping other hunters so you can earn more money. I don't know. See? But this time we're going to let you receive those It says any weapon you that you can augment, so you can augment. MR yeah. So hopefully, hopefully this for the unique weapon rollout, they'll let us do it for Safi weapons. I think what they meant is like, will have their so you can't do it adjusted. for interim weapons like. So helping out in games may net you some right. face stones. 
while other regular quests can I probably should have actually moved our portraits up a little bit so the subs can be read. <laughs> this adds an aspect Ugh. to the game where you're helping with quests depending on what your needs are. Well, you can fix move, it, I believe in you. If I move if it too far up, to then... Rank quests, go and help it will be like in the middle of the screen. And you'll be well rewarded for you can put efforts. it in the top left and top right. There really nice isn't addition. anything use, any useful information yep. up there. There's like the, the logo quests, for Monster Hunter and then like... Okay, do have like... Yeah. It's called a banishing ball, and it's an item that you banishing ball guiding lands. Banish you to the shadow it's realm. An item that when thrown at a monster, <laughs> you've punishment my game. trap card. Or should I say, it'll forcibly make them leave. There are no weak cards in my grandfather's deck, Kaiba. There are no weak cards in my grandfather's deck, Kaiba. There. I did it for you. So I think it's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, my tempo got messed up because I couldn't remember the whole line. <laughs> so I had to like pause to remember. Well, and see, now I'm in front of the other text. <laughs> okay, so, um, can't win. Raise can't, max level can't win. Cap. Yeah, right. Raise max level cap for master rank armor because you're going to get one shot if you don't. Because, <laughs> because, because, uh, Furious Brigidios and. What's ends up? Uh, Furious Brajang and Raging Brachidius are going to one shot you, yeah. Yeah, and then added an augment, uh, added an augmentation feature that lets you customize the look of your weapons. Add an option in Steamworks to let you change the Steamworks output. Wait, a Steamworks output? What? Yeah, I have no idea what that what means. What does that mean? Change applied to the Steamworks so that you can now activate the auto mode after sending the Steamworks into overdrive. Can't. Can, oh, can, okay, cool. Can, can't you always do that? Well, yeah. Well, you have to hold down the button. Oh. I. Okay. So I'm a. So I'm assuming this means you don't have to hold down the button. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. So here's a, something important. That's just, f all that. Who cares? Fury Charm 5, Power Charm 5, Mighty Charm 3, and Challenger Charm 5. Why? Here's something I'm wondering because Mighty Charm 3, are they maybe intending for Max Might Secret to maybe come back at some point? In a difference? In a new armor piece? Maybe. In some new armor piece? Yeah, the surprising part is that it's only uh, it's only three piece, and Max Might is just intrinsically worse than. Well, I guess then again, you can't have it without secret. Yeah. Yeah. What is Power Charm? But... What is Power Charm? I think. Mm. Power Charm Five. Fury's resentment. Yeah, Fury's Fury's is. resentment. Challenger's agitator. Oh, latent latent power. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> do you know How why cute. we don't know the name of that there's a reason <laughs> <laughs> cute. worthless okay challenger charm 5 is gonna be nice though um in addition, i'm surprised they're not putting ab5 in, in there if they're putting challenger charm 5 in there five. yeah i don't know we have a lot of these little changes hmm. included in this update Details about it does mean it does that does potentially mean that your Hunter double challenger com. decos are now not going to be so useful sure anymore. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much means double challenger decos are worthless. Now I mean, it depends on whether the sets become more room. efficient running that charm the or not. This time is very splendid, right? Is this your summer home? That's exactly it. I asked them to film in my summer home. It's wonderful. Thank you. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank you. Part of the pure oh, look at that. Look at that. Were those, <laughs> were those birds twerking? Uh, maybe, but did you did see the... Did they train their the, birds to twerk? Did, did you see the gothic Lolita Palico? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gothic Lolita Palico, but twerking we're birds. We're adding a group of new monster figures along with this update. In this update, we're adding monsters like Zin Ogre, Namiel, and Safijiva. That's right. Hmm. These are I do like those little figure things because it lets you see the, the detail, game. but... We yeah. also added music to Music? It'll music also makes me lose control. Music makes me lose control. Interested. Let's go. This time we added some <laughs> jazz remixes and other interesting tracks for your listening pleasure. Ooh, jazz remixes. Now I'm interested. But it's all paid. Uh, yeah, the paid. <laughs> they also are all paid. For sale will be a batch of new pendants. A lot of cute ones, too, from the looks of it. Uh, yes, but this will be uploaded to YouTube. Cool. But tofu. And we added a lot of cool new stuff with this batch of content. But like little monkey oh, swing. And I almost but forgot. Tofu. We also have new sticker sets available for purchase. Well, oh my god! Hold use anything on the giant hold block on. of tofu. Hold on. I forgot. We also have. Uh. New... Oh, oh my! That's lewd. <laughs> that is very lewd. Hello, welcome to my abode. <laughs> have you also seen that I have pets and they're adorable? Look at me, I'm a caregiver. 
sticker sets Why don't you join me on this couch? It's very comfortable. We also have a bunch of new hairstyles too. The hairstyles Oh. Are... Oh. <laughs> hmm. We can have a uh, Ada Ada leader's hair. It's true we can, but also Pompadour. Is hey. that Seeker's hairstyle? Hmm? No, who the hell is that? Okay. Who the hell is this? Uh, no, Seeker's hairstyle is the one next to it. Yeah, that's it. Seeker. Who the yeah. hell is this? Wait, is that the field team leader? No. Is that what the field team leader's haircut looks like? I can't remember what his haircut looks like. Anytime I see him, the only thing I put focus on is his pecs. I don't... Because that's, that's, that's Commander. That's, like, yeah. the, the dude... I think that hairstyle is already in the game, though. Let's see. Field team lead. No, wait. That's field Provisions team leader's. Guy. No, wait. That's field team leader's haircut. Does he have the same haircut as the, as the, uh, as that, as that, like, what's it? Excitable A-lister or whatever his name is? I don't know, dude. Huh. Whose hairstyle is that? The Research Wyvarian. Apparently. Who? The one of the one of the people who give like gave you the quests or uh, gave you the investigations in Celiana. Oh, one of those oh. dudes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the one that well, wasn't the one I, with the side the side dreads. Well, I would use Opium Try Nissan's haircut if I wasn't like locked that. into the Pompadour thing. Okay, so here we go. Oh no. The next Astera Celiana seasonal event will run in April, so we'd like to take some time to talk about that. The dude that's the trapped in the tree roots in the Leshen quest. The <laughs> really Lol. Alive. That's right. Look at Riozo's rose. Nice Ro Riozo. 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 What's up with that anyway? Sorry. I'll explain later, okay? <laughs> Let's just head over to the gathering hub first. No. Let's go. Nope. Jenny's playing wood spooks. Full right, Bloom we're in Festival. Celiana's gathering hub, and the theme oh my. for this seasonal event is oh my. Surprise! It's based on roses, your favorite flower. It's based on roses. Yes, Surprise! That's why we put it in your hair earlier. This to me. So much has changed in the hub. Yeah, like I know you like it. Day. Yo, the platters are all don't different. Don't stack, but yep. We were aiming for oh something my goodness. sophisticated. That dress. So seriously, down that's the, the handler's outfit. Even the oh, oh, wait, hold on. Visual make. To be frank, the platters are all different. Really? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Look at that. Lol. Yep. We were aiming for something sophisticated. You know, I I think if so I think if she was talking in French, down on the that outfit was that outfit would work pretty well. I mean, she's talking in French in your game. Makeover. Exactly. Oh, lol. That's a big snowman. The face of the snowman and the would you like to build a snowman? A nice touch too, I think. <laughs> oh, what the f***? <laughs> As the previous events. This seasonal event comes with quests that will let you craft special armor. And of course, <laughs> this armor was designed with the event's theme in mind. Hmm. That's right. That it's a set of armor that we set out to make as elegant as we elegant could. Elegant as we the could. The Polico armor was designed to be like That's a creepy, gothic dude. Doll. Why did they yeah. give it like human eyes? Oh, uh, cuz it's a gothic Lolita doll. They dude, always no. have creepy eyes. Made gothic Lolita dolls like always have creepy eyes. Dude, that's like human eyes though. Yeah. It's like human skin texture, so it's ugh. <laughs> the face was specially made to match the costume. Yeah, it looks very Who much like if you would. Wait, is this is this pig wearing high heels? No, okay, never mind. Lol. I thought it was wearing stilettos. Look at that rose movie. pig butt. Rose the pig butt. Event will welcome some brand new <laughs> it's a rose event dress. Quests, which will give you rewards to create very unique. Be because equipment. it's a dress. Continuing the legacy of the frozen spear. All right, so how I'm is, gonna have to be a dual blades poop? main now. <laughs> Oh my god. With the fact that you can that you're gonna be able to transmog too, mm -hmm. that means all of your dual blades can be tunas. 
Well, what I'm going to have somebody do is um, modify, like, mod an SNS to use one of these dual blades. Lol. Uh, pair of wet dual blades, <laughs> as well as something based on the rare... <laughs> they wiggle! We fashioned and it's a layered armor this time, you know, so you because they didn't make cute. our freaking monkeys layered. Lol. Looks like fun. Or like the wo the wool since the release of Iceborne, scarf layered guild card background. See, I wear see my character was glasses though, so I can't change that. Update, that's true. That's like the it's like the one part of my layered armor that's immutable. Personal yeah. feel. Your shield can be the other one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So how does po so how <clears throat> does Poogie poop? That's all the information through the rose. Have about the third free title just update. Shoots it just but right through the sensor. Just... You with some new information. <laughs> Although it won't contain any special assignments, we have another title update coming out in What's April. That? We plan on adding a new monster via no. event quest. Called Terra is coming to hey. adding a new monster hey. via event quest. Cult this was totally not spoiled to, to me rank. by like three people. <laughs> this time it will be an event quest where up to four players team up to slay the monster. To slay? Really? No way! The this time it'll be that? Slay yeah. the yep. monster? <coughs> slay? Slay. Aslay. Asle. Simply put, Asle. it's a master rank called Terra hmm. in a traditional quest. If you've played through the high rank siege and obtained Cult Teroth weapons and still have them hanging around, okay, cool. So, good though. thing we you kept everything. The master rank materials from Cult Teroth to <laughs> told you they'd use it eventually. <laughs> eventually, it's told you the they'd use, make right? use of it eventually. Yes, that's correct. It's an upgrade system where you raise the weapons level to add abilities to the weapons you already have. Oh, so they're basically introducing Safi's this system way, into Cult. You can Kulf. upgrade your weapons without yeah. pointless busy work. And raise them to a level where you feel powerful using them. I wonder if they'll have the Here's same. I wonder if they'll be like the so like. Making to the cold terror. I wonder if they'll make it like okay, so they're basically the same weapons, but one has an aesthetic of cold and one has an aesthetic of sappy. I, I mean, I'd be okay with that if they were like the same thing. That'd be interesting. Uh, Upgraded to her high rank version. Yeah, so it's they're not doing a sixteen person siege anymore with it. Yeah, let's see. Appraisal. So the appraisal system. Uh, siege rewards. Use master rank materials to upgrade appraisal weapons. Rarity and abilities become stronger when leveled. Abilities. And the master rank. And the master abilities. rank. Abilities. Wait. What? Abilities probably just means stats. Hold on. The updates we're making to the Cold Teroth fight, including updates to her high rank version. Oh look, it starts from area two. Nice. So you still do like the ATKT siege if you want to get the weapons, but the master rank version gives you shit to upgrade them. Tempered monsters are also I wonder if by abilities sport. they they the literally mean like monster is abilities, kind of like Nah, they probably just mean stats. Going to be a very but I mean if fight, but, we know but I mean if we had more, like weapons that were like um, Lunastra, I mean that would be nice. Right, but how would they? How would the abilities upgrade? I guess is more my. Is well, my what question. if they had like a Safi system? Then you could put, you know, you could pick an upgrade and put it on there. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that that's still stats. Like with Safi, you're just increasing the stats until you, unless you throw in the thing on it. Yeah, but no, but they might what, do if, what if they thing, mean but... like a Safi system, where say you could get like health regen on a Cove weapon, or you know, like. Punishing draw on a like, like kind of how like Xeno weapons are. Yeah. Xeno Safi or, or Xeno Luna or Nerg Luna. I don't know. Yeah. There will be I mean, like, possible, but. Finally, Anyways, Arc Tempered Namio. <laughs> upgrade abilities means that like, the abilities themselves get stronger. Uh, uh, Arc Tempered Namio. Who cares? How I'm reading who cares? it. <laughs> <laughs> who cares about. Yeah, who cares about. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna, although, don't wanna. This, although this might change like pep CB sets a bit, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. New monster. Why of all... Oh, look. 
It's a Latrion. Oh, I don't know who this is. I've never played a previous Monster Hunter. <laughs> I don't. I only know from like other people who a Latrion is, but. Hey, a Latrion. <laughs> Called it. I'm joking. I already knew. <laughs> yeah. We've known for a while. It was in the yeah. files. Like, it's been play? in the files as Rainbow Dragon for done, like since the game came files. out. Update. Yeah. For those who've never encountered it, this is Alatreon. I've never fought a Latrion, but I oh, have been say, I've I'm said sorry. Many times in the past. Did you just I say Alatreon? Wait, what? Apparently, it's Alatreon. Repeat. Pull, pull back. Pull, pull back real quick. Alatreon. Is part of our. So, what did you think? This monster is part of our fourth free title update. For those who've never encountered it, this is Alatreon. Alatreon. No, it isn't. F*** you. Alatreon. No one says it that way. No one says it that way. I mean, technically. Rajang is one thing, but no one says it that way. I, I mean, again, right. like I, I, I've gone back and said this before on like streams and stuff. I mean, but technically, you know, if you were to, if you were to pronounce it in the phonetic way that the Japanese pronounce it, yeah, I mean, that would be an a. Eh. That would still be ara ture on. I mean, there's really that's alatreon. How do you know I'm pronouncing it that way? I mean, <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, this is probably the first time this monster's been named in an official it's capacity. The, I mean, it's the first. I mean, in monster like Monster Hunter Waters, as far as I'm aware, pretty much the first time any of the monsters have yeah, actually been. So, named. like, if if the devs say, "Hey, this is alatreon." They can say whatever the it's hell Alatreon. they want. Language is determined by the majority. F*** you, it's Alatrion. Look, it's pronounced GIF, okay? It's pronounced <laughs> GIF, not GIF. Even though, <laughs> even though the creator says it's GIF, f*** you, it's GIF. No, it's officially GIF now, Jinx. Sorry, you can't, you can't change it. It's Alatreon and it's GIF. You can't, you can't change the course of reality. Play the f***ing video. <laughs> In previous games, it was an incredibly aggressive monster. This time, expect it to be even more fierce. Yep, we think everyone's gonna love it. We'll have more information for everyone in a future developer diary, so be on the lookout. That's it for today's developer diary. We'd like to say goodbye with our usual parting words. Who did they get to voice the English version, though? Because they have, like, they're, like, the... Most unexpressive voiceover actor I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so that's it. And then we watch our yep. then let's watch our old video, our new video. Lol. All right. Well then, thoughts. Thoughts. Your thoughts. Any, for uh, anyone who's my, ever my, played Fallout my thoughts. Four, your thoughts. All women are queen. <laughs> if what? she breathes, she's. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. I yeah. wouldn't say all women are queens, yeah. nor are all women thoughts, but there are definitely a variety of queens and thoughts amongst uh, amongst all people. No, I mean, you know, this is what it in is. Um, games, if you attack the active body parts of this is interesting. Hold on. The slime has extreme caution against this powerful opponent. In previous games, if you attack the active body parts of raging Bracadios, the slime would detonate. But we slightly changed its design. Now, if you attack those active parts, they'll become inactive, and the slime will drop to the ground. So, does that mean what? it can't produce slime from that body part anymore? So, like, it probably, yeah, pro like, so when when Brick when like Brickidios, Brackidios, Brickidios, whatever, has uh, like when he slimed up, his regular attacks also do things like leave slime. Yeah, and such. they do. So it seems like when you do enough damage to flinch that, it's no longer, uh, it's no longer going to do that for the, until he slimes back up i'm guessing one sec my parents uh i mean i don't know you know sitting here just kind of looking at it i don't know what they mean i mean trip weapon transmog for console is gonna be pretty cool obviously um getting rid of monsters in the guiding lands is going to be awesome because if that means you can just yeet rajang out of the freaking map every time he shows up instead of having to deal with him that's going to be pretty great um that's going to be like a really nice change if we look at um you know cove to wherever wherever that was 
if it's like what I thought it was and you can uh, get, I don't know, I think it was earlier than this. If you, anyway, and if it's like you can get abilities on the weapons, I think that'll be really interesting to see how that gets played and changed out. Uh, as far as like additional features and stuff like that, I don't know. I mean, raising max level cap for master rank armor upgrades. That's going to be pretty cool. You know, we'll be able to, um, Oh, oh. hello. Hey, I'll be back in like five minutes. My parents got here a bit earlier than I expected. Okay. All right. BRB. Uh, you know, that's going to be nice for people who just kind of want to have easy hunts. You know, you get to the end game and then you get to go back and you basically don't get, you don't get killed at all. You just don't take damage. Uh, this option for Steamworks to let you change the output. I don't, I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that means, but I'm interested in figuring that out because anything to do with Steamworks changing up the way that they have it. I mean, that's going to be nice. Um, you can now collect item rewards just before a Steamworks overdrive. I don't know why you would want that. I'm just kind of confused about some of these changes. Um, I think the latent power charm is going to basically be worthless. I don't, I don't think that's going to even be a thing, but, um, I don't know why anybody would use latent power ever. But just in general, I mean, it's another update. Capcom's been pretty good to us. You know, we've gotten a lot of really awesome things for free. I don't think uh I don't think they're going to go I don't think they're going to go in a terribly bad direction. They seem to be listening to things that we want and providing them. So not bad. Your casual friends love lane power. Is he, is he back? Is he back or is he just... Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, like I said, you know, we, we get the we were talking about that earlier. This is the Challenger Charm Five. Is that going to change anything from being Challenger Four to Challenger Five? Who knows? We already weren't really using anything, but um, dude, thank you for the twelve months, Arcus. Appreciate that, dude. One full year. Alatrian set might have an elemental overdrive type that combines true elemental acceleration and true crit element. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. But there's no telling on what they... Uh... Yeah, here's the Kulptaroth image. Who knows what that'll be like. The fact that you can slay it, that'll be pretty interesting. I hope, uh, I honestly do hope they change the CC chain a little bit. I don't really want them to have the exact same thing that we had before. Hope, hopefully we get to try to figure out something new because, uh, you know, we, we talk about it all the time. Jinx and I both think that the Kulv Taroth fight, uh, two through four, is probably the most engaging fight in the game. Obviously area one kind of sucks, but, uh, Kulv, Kulv Taroth two through four is amazing. It's, it's. A adrenaline packed doing a p1 kulv Tarath is one of the most fun experiences you can have so yeah and they said flinch shots work on kulv now somewhere in here i read that i think it's let's see yeah Kulv Taroth is now susceptible to Clutch Claws, Grapple, and Flint Shots. So, you know, there's already going to be new CC options. Who knows what they'll do. 
if she hits area four and is like un uh, like uh, she's permanently enraged or something like that, you know, we'll see. We'll see what can be done, but. As long as there's not an area one, I think I'll enjoy it just in general. Area one was always a snore fest. This is, this is honestly, to me, it's more exciting than even a Latreon. Or Alatreon. <laughs> Alatreon. Oh my god. They done it. They done it. Now, I'm kind of confused why they're doing Namiel first. I mean, I guess it's the only, I, mean, I guess it's, if you're looking at all of the monsters as a whole, I guess it would be the one that didn't have an Arc Tempered already. But I don't look forward to fighting an Arc Tempered version of this monster. Hmm. I think, uh, I mean, if Jinx were here, we'd talk about it, but <sighs> Namiel's kind of a divisive fight. Namiel's kind of a divisive fight because I think from a casual perspective, and I hate to use these words, but from a casual perspective, Namiel's very fun. Um, it's, it's a, it's a monster that looks visually interesting. Um, there's certainly a lot of mechanics going on, but from a more aggressive, like speedrunner way, it has terrible hit zone values until later in the match. It moves around a lot. It's like very mobile. It's slidey. Um, it has AOE areas underneath it that jostle you around and it deals like a lot of AOE damage, uh, which can be difficult to deal with. And just in general, it's got really bad hitboxes. So, yeah, lingering AOE hitboxes that aren't matching to <laughs> the character. Yeah. But, uh, well, we'll see. It's possible they make some changes. You know, they, they make some small changes and... And then we get a Latrion. Now, I'm noticing right here. Is that shooting lightning and fire at the same time? Is it going to be able to use multiple elements at once, or does it swap between them? I've never played against a Latrion. I don't really know how the fight's supposed to go. Or was that even fire? Well, because that's like, that's 100% lightning. So is that even fire and lightning breath? Or is that just fire? Because that's a fire ball. But there's like lightning sounds and textures with that. So I don't know. That's dragon fire breath. Latrion uses all but water. It's plasma. Okay. He switches elements. It's two phrases. Ground phase where he uses dragon fire. Flying phase where he does lightning and ice. Okay. So at this point, um, from the... Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Probably cut that out of the vault. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, or I mean, you can or can't. I, I've kind of been talking the entire time, so. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, I mean, how long have you been talking? Let me watch it and see what you want to do. Uh, so, I'm just thinking now, uh, we kind of talked about Kolv Taroth and just how kind of excited that it's a two through four fight, because... Yeah, cuts out the boring part. <laughs> yeah, and um, 
in I'm assuming that they might do something like increase CC thresholds or something. So well, I you mean, actually have to fight her. Yeah, you add the you added the ability to use clutch claw and stuff on cold. Yeah. So, um, clutch I got to Alatreon. I got to Alatreon, and uh, I'm trying to think at this point, what hasn't as far as that like what 25th and or is it 25th or 10th anniversary? Yeah, it's tenth anniversary, um, or fifteenth, fifteenth anniversary art that they did with all the high resolution monsters. Mm -hmm. What haven't we seen? What was it, Seregios and Gore? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I think Seregios and Gore, and as we've discussed before on stream, like, I, I, I would be amazed if they ever added Gore to World. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they can do the implications. The implications, lore wise, are too fucking big. So there was Valtrax, Fatalis, Laggy, Seregios, and Gore in that picture. I don't think they can do Gore because that's a really heavy story implication. Like that's that's a big that's a big deal to have to like have the frenzy virus. Yeah, I could realistically see. Um, Sir Regios making in, I can see that happening. Yeah, but I don't think uh, either Gore or Legiacris will make it in. One of the things about um, video game design is like uh, it's hard to put in a new model into a video game like it's it's difficult to do that you only have so many like reference well, a new resources well a new a new skeleton yeah like Models a new skeleton bad, well yeah skeleton. sorry a new skeleton Skele it's hard to put the a... skeleton's the basis of all the animations right it's hard to put new reference material into a video game like eventually you're gonna run out of room it's like that's that's kind of why like certain video games like so just for instance forza eventually they stop making new cars like just just because you can't make more cars uh, uh, uh an, an example i had for like you can only reskin so much yeah basically. like um, well like i had an example like for a uh, apb a game i used to play apb um eventually they stopped releasing new cars and what they said is like yeah our systems are so old like that we just can't make new cars anymore they just we can't yeah um so I don't know if that's a reason why, or if they do have the room and they still just can't make the the Leviathan skeleton work. I don't know what the reason is, but I just don't. I think at this point they probably won't try to put a Leviathan in the game. I mean, realistically, it's a huge amount of it's a lot more work to do that compared yeah. to just compared to just releasing you know variants of monsters or releasing things like Alatrion, which just use the same dragon it's just kushala same, like, it's just the same kushala skeleton yeah the same kushala skeleton that they've used for a few different monsters like but it's just um, easier i um i wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised if they actually have it done if they have legiacris working and they have gore working and like they have all those models ready to go they're probably just going to use them for monster hunter world 2 or whatever yeah. the fuck they call the next sequel game, is like, gonna be yeah whatever the sequel is whatever monster hunter universe monster hunter galaxy let's see <laughs> where do you go after you've hit galaxy universe we well yeah the last one will be interesting carry null berries yeah um we're just trying to figure out right now if it was going to use multiple elements at once but somebody in, in chat was saying For that those who um, never encountered it this is Alan. that this basically on the ground mode he uses dragon and fire and then right. in the air he uses lightning and ice right makes sense but who knows we'll figure yeah it out. i mean i doubt they'll switch it up too much yeah for world there's no reason to yeah not too bad but yeah i mean you know he's gonna be regardless you know he's gonna be aoe for days <laughs> well all, it seems like all of their po all of their uh, post release content monsters pretty much always seem to be very AOE focused because they're meant to be tackled as a group. Yeah, unfortunately. Like as opposed to like story progression ones, which they make it more manageable solo. These post story ones are very like okay, 
You've beat the story. You've ground some stuff up. You've made some friends. Go kill it together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I mean, what do you want to do? You want to... I guess we can go ahead and end. I'll go ahead and end. Um, sure. Since, yeah, I'm going to go take care of a few stuff for a few minutes and then probably hop on stream and f and finally finish up the story with Charge Blade. Cool. And then we'll be Maybe, back hopefully. here. Yeah. I'll meet you back here in yeah. like 5 or 10, 15, whatever, and then we'll, yeah. we'll start well, stream on my end and roast your ass. <laughs> cool. Down for it. I guess we can use... um this particular way that I've done it and I can have your voice synced with your <laughs> Yeah, that's an option. Know. We'll see. I mean I'm sure I mean I'm sure that my internet can handle it. Okay. All right guys. Since I'm hardwired into my modem, so Alright guys, uh we'll be back here. We'll reconvene in just a little bit. Jinx yeah. and I are gonna run in, take care of some stuff. Yeah. Catch you guys BRB. in a little bit. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye.